please welcome Francine Zuckerman and Deb Filler. Thank you so much. And Alon Nashman. So, <laughs> our surprise guest. Um, I just wanted to thank you, Aviva, so much for inviting our festival. It's an honor to be here. And for the, to the Ontario Arts Council who supported our film and all of the many people, as we all know, it takes so many people to make a film. Um, a special thank you to Deb, whose story, true story this is. And I've hear, I heard this story over so many years and thinking as a filmmaker, what an honor it would be to actually make it into a film. And so we found a way to do it after all these years and hearing the story so many times. So that's really exciting to be able to do this and to <laughs> premiere it here. And, uh, do you want to come on? I, just, I just wanted to, uh, besides thanking Alain so much for his great work and the actors and incredible cast and uh, crew of the film, I wanted to thank you so much because there's so many of my wonderful friends and some of my family even here today. Thank you so much for coming and for supporting this festival and, and for coming today, um, especially during this time that we've got now on our hands, this awful, awful time that's, you know, the great calamity, possibly. Um, I just want you to know that it's, it's acts of kindness that Lenny just showed you. He was such a mensch. He really inspired me to become a performer in my life. And it's those just little tiny acts of kindness when you mentor somebody, as he did me, and I know he did so many other people. Um, and as, as children, as, uh, where are Jamie and, and Alex? Where are you guys? Uh, uh, Nina. Sorry, Nina. Thank you so much. Thank you for your dad. And thank I know you carry on that legacy with the Bernstein Foundation. I know you do. So thank you for that. Anyway, I just wanted to say that um, I, it made my life really meeting him in many ways. So uh, made my dad's, changed everything for him. So be kind. That's what we wanted to say. It's beautiful. <laughs> So we have time for a couple of questions, and I'll repeat them so everyone can hear. Yes. Where is your dad from, and how did he end up in Auckland? My father was from a metropolis in Poland called Bzozef. <laughs> is there anybody here from Bzozef? <laughs> I know there's some fillers here. Yes, there are people from Bzozef, okay, or lineage. So uh, it's in southeastern Poland, not far from Krakow, um, and it's um, very long story but he tried to make his way to the west as soon as he could with his brother Ben who was the other character in the film we just didn't have enough money to make Ben a character but Ben's granddaughters are here too where are Rachel and Nic Nicola where are you guys you're too shy oh there they are and um uh, they made their way, um, my father and his only brother, their grandfather, uh, went to a place called Lundsberg which was a camp outside of, of Munich and um, then Ben, who was quite poorly, uh, was sent to Australia to recuperate because he had typhoid after the war and he was very ill. And so my father, saying he was going to the Olympics in Melbourne, followed his only brother to Australia. And my, my mother, who was a German Jewish refugee, they had fled to New Zealand uh, in 1938. And she went shopping to Sydney for a Jewish husband and she made friends with Faye. Foxman, their grandmother, and she was dating Ben Filler, and the rest was history. Yes. Okay, great question. So um, first question for Deb. Did your dad ever meet Leonard Bernstein later on, um, or did he really just stay in the bakery? Um, well, why don't you My father that? never met Leonard Bernstein, I'm so sorry to say. And he doesn't even remember the story until I tell it in one of my shows. And I told it uh, in Auckland one day, the, in 1990, 1999, the year that he had been diagnosed with terminal cancer. And he was at the um, show and he came up to me and he said, Deborah, did that really happen? <laughs> I said, yes, Dad, the story that happened. But he was so busy working he forgot all about it. Which was kind of sad, you know, but... No, he didn't. And the second question is for Francine. Um, what will, what's the future for the film? It's always challenging to know with short films. Because of film festivals like this, we get a chance to um, screen the film. It's going on to Atlanta, Jewish Film Festival, San Diego, Palm Springs, and um, we hope it'll tour the world at some point. But it's been, been screening um, uh, mostly in the US, and we're hoping Berlin, Warsaw, 
Oh yeah, and it's going to be on the United on United Airlines as well. Oh. It's great. Yeah. The um, the chalas look amazing. <laughs> Is there a story there? Did you film in a bakery? Ask the baker. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you, you answer that question. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. The, these are vintage Toronto challahs. Um, the Harvard Bakery has been around for about 60 years in the center of what used to be the Jewish hub near Kensington Market. Well, you, you, I don't know about the world, but it's, it's a Jewish... Um, cultural and uh, challah capital. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I had to learn how to, um, how to pull it in out of, out of the oven. That was about the extent of it. And they donated them, um, but subsequently Deb has learned how to make her father's challah, so that's very exciting. Yeah. You, can, you can get the recipe for that challah if you want. It's on my website, which is fillerup.ca. <laughs> that's excellent. What's that website again? <laughs> fillerup.ca for Canada. And thank you, Phyllis Yaffe, very much. Thank you for the Consul General for New York. Uh, we can take one more question. Yes. What's the chance of having this short film turn into a long film so we can watch the end of it? Uh, um, I, I'm, I'm working on a whole bunch of different projects, but this is something that Deb and I have been talking about, and Deb wants to develop it into a feature film with this story at the sort of center, I think, that you were thinking, and Deb's dad's story? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know the answer to the question, but I am working on developing a feature for this. Um, I told the story to a, to a guy in New Zealand one day just after I'd arrived on one of my trips there and he said this is a great film and you know we worked together on collaborating in the end I sort of took it over because I realised what it had to say. I'm just not sure exactly what the feature would say because it's a, such a nugget of a story you know but it could be that the nugget is inside something bigger and there's never been a Holocaust story set in New Zealand yet. <laughs> never know. <laughs> so I, I, I'd like to work on it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you all so thank much you for so being much. here. Thank you so much.